not sorry not a fan of little tay tay um never have been a fan of little tay tay <laughs> ahead and just do like a cute little q a fun facts about me while i get ready for dinner we're gonna go ahead and start with my hair then we'll go into makeup and i'll show you guys my outfit but that's what we're gonna go ahead and do for today i'm actually really really excited about it i haven't done one of these on my channel ever like a really like a get to know me and i feel like i just started posting content and didn't really introduce myself so we're gonna go ahead and start with that so if you guys want to go ahead and learn a little bit more about me keep on watching and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you follow me on all my social media linked down below to get behind this and access of everything that i do and get stuff in real time and let's go ahead into the video so i'm just gonna start with telling you guys a little bit about myself my name is alexa um alexi Vana, if you guys obviously um and i am 21 i will be 22 in december i am a sagittarius and <coughs> if i sneeze once i usually sneeze more than once um i am latina for those of you guys that don't know I am half Dominican, half Ecuadorian, born and raised in Washington, D.C. I speak Spanish and English fluently. I can read, write, speak both of the languages. But if you guys ever yeah, hear me or like my family like speaking in Spanish or you follow me on Instagram, um, I do post like a little story sometimes like the music that I'm listening to and it's going to be in Spanish. So yeah. I'm half Dominican, half Ecuadorian. My dad is Dominican, my mom is Ecuadorian. And what else? When I was, ye I don't know, some age, I really couldn't tell you. Um, we moved to the suburbs, we moved to Virginia. So a lot of people are always like, oh, you're from DC, but you don't have like the DC girl accent. Um, I guess I just, it, it went away, basically. I acclimated to the Virginian accent i my boyfriend says i speak like a i don't know i speak like i'm really well educated which i am um jumping into that i graduated high school at 17. i went to an IV uh program high school so i graduated high school at 17 and then i graduated college with a bachelor's in marketing at 21. So, I am 21 now, so I graduated in May. We were actually here last May celebrating my graduation. And I am planning to go back to school in the spring or fall of this upcoming school year. Well, the spring would be the extension of the school year, but either the spring semester or the fall semester I'm coming up to begin my master's program, either in marketing as well or business administration. So yeah, that is where I'm kind of thinking of doing academically. The simple stuff like I have a very big family. You guys will get to know them a little bit better, but my mom remarried when I was younger. But yeah, I have two bonus siblings, um, a girl and a boy. Um, and they are 19 and 17. And then I have a younger brother. His name is Andre. If you follow me on social media, you know all about him. So yeah, we are a Brady Bunch. Basically, where there's four children in total. And then I have, obviously, a stepdad. I do also have a stepmom. Um, my dad remarried as well. Um, and I don't have any siblings on my dad's side. We are his only two, me and my brother. And he loves it that way. And I love it that way. And... We are the only grandchildren on my Dominican side, and we're a spoiled Ryan. So, um, yeah. So, that is um, basically a little bit about me. I, like, besides, like, answering, like, I guess more in-depth questions. Um, right now, I am pursuing my career in marketing, and I actually really like what I do day-to-day. -day. I do a little bit of marketing and, like, 
administrative work for a med spa in my med spa in my area um, and I really like it they are definitely gonna say up and coming because it began as a wellness like cancer center and now it's transitioning into a wellness slash aesthetic uh, focused practice so we're you know doing our best trying to build up a clientele be a little bit more credible and um, reputable as a luxury med wellness center in our area so that's what I'm currently doing at work I love the people that I work with I will say I hope to not work forever or like start my business or something soon um, but for now this is where I am everything else that besides like that in terms of like getting to know me um, me and my brother are very close I love my little brother I will I don't know do anything for that kid he's like one of my favorite people on this planet so yeah I also like football I like sports I was a cheerleader in high school and it was a very high school was a very great experience for me and I hope that like in the future my kids love high school as much as I enjoyed my high school experience so that is a little bit about me um I'm gonna go ahead and answer like a few questions as well I don't really get that many um but I also didn't want to do like a I'm filming a Q&A um ask me questions just because I didn't want them to be like I wanted to set a boundary and I kind of wanted to tell you guys what I wanted first and then if you had a question I guess I can answer that like in a separate video just want to be like hey this is what I want you to know about me this is who I am not that there's anything bad to know about me I just would prefer if it came you know from me and what I'm comfortable sharing and if you guys are asking about what styling product I use I use the curl smith oil and cream the curl conditioning this bottle looks a mess because as I said we traveled and it exploded in the little plastic bag I had it in so if you see my vlog I don't know which video is coming first but if you see my vlog um, my DR vlog you'll see the behind the scenes of it bursting basically so now that my hair is done I'm going to toss it to the back and we're going to go ahead and start on my makeup while answering questions and kind of just doing like my everyday makeup routine these are kind of self-explanatory they're a little repetitive but what is your middle name my middle name is Ivana it is on my YouTube page I go by Alexa Ivana on all my social media just because I feel like my last name I love it so much but it's also like I don't know it's kind of sacred and kind of private if you I don't know I'm just not comfortable with that being online so starting with my face I am going to just go in with my is clinical active serum i use is clinical because i do have a esthetician she is working on my skin and i have skincare goals and stuff so she's working on that with me which i'm very grateful for um i wash my face with the trader joe's like gentle cleanser all in one gentle cleanser something like that it was actually really good i hated it before because i was using the is um cleanser and they are both very different consistencies but the one from trader joe's is like a foaming cleanser i've never really used those because i feel like they dry my skin out even more but surprisingly if you you know build it up and do everything you're supposed to like work it between your hands it works a lot better um next i'm coming in with the elta md sunscreen i usually use dr jart for my face um, but i'm using elta md today because I'm basically almost out of my Dr. Jart, so we're gonna go in with this. Um, what is my favorite color? Okay, I guess that's like a cheesy one. My favorite color is blue. I love the color blue. I feel like it is the best color. However, I am, actually I would say it's a tie between blue and pink. I definitely love blue a lot, but pink is like, such a beautiful color in terms of like you can wear it like I don't know I personally like will get pink on my nails but I won't get blue I just love them how natural the pink is but I love like a blue I just think it's so pretty 
Um, what phone do I have? I currently have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I got this right before the 15 came out because I went to Florida and actually I went to the Lagoon and was it is it that the Epson Lagoon in Tampa? Yeah, I believe that's where it is. In Tampa, the Epson Lagoon. Um, if somebody I was gonna say if somebody goes, my phone's probably at the bottom of the lagoon, but I recovered my phone. My phone fell in the lagoon. So they say you're not supposed to tip over on the um I have a uh, mirror right here by the way. They say you're not supposed to tip over on the kayaks. We most definitely tipped over because they say it is safe to take your phone, but it's obviously your discretion. So I took my phone and I had cracked it already and just water went everywhere. So I that's a lot of the reason of why I've like become kind of inactive on TikTok and stuff because I mean it's really not an excuse that I've been posting a little bit, but a lot of like my content that I had planned out for a while is on was on that phone. So right now I'm going in with the Elf Power Grip Primer. I'm using this because it is hot as crazy outside. Like it is 80 degrees, but it's so humid. It's so nice. Back home, it was like 40s. It's just not the vibe. Uh, what do you do in your free time? So a lot of my free time, I'm working. Now that I don't have school, like I have only had since May to kind of figure out a routine of like what I want to do, how I'm spending like my spare time. So a lot of it, um, thankfully, is you know working or hanging out with my boyfriend. I love that. I, sorry that I smelled that. It's just I recently washed my brushes and like my smell sensitivity. I think that's what I was trying to say is really high right now. Like I can smell a lot of things. I don't know. Um, like things are just smelling really weird. Um, but I'm going in with the this is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade Chia. This is like one of my favorite concealers. I actually really like this a lot. Um, it is a natural like shade concealer. It's not like a brightening. Um, I do like a nice bright concealer, but for tonight we're trying to just do, you know, nice and clean. I do want to try with the Sephora Summer, what is the savings event that they have coming up? I really want to try that Fenty Stick. Um, that just came out. I really don't know what the name is, but it's supposed to be like matching your complexion exactly and it's like a nice little Layer, so I want to try that. I just let this be on my face And I let it so like sit for a minute Before I blend it out. So while it does that, let's answer another question Oh, I didn't really answer that. Um, in my free time what I do now is I'm like either making content like this, hanging out with my family, that's really big. Like the weekends are strictly for my family. Um, I feel bad because like sometimes my friends wanna hang out, but I'm definitely the type of person like to do that during the week um, because I just love spending time with my family because they don't live as close. Like they're about like 40 to an hour away from me depending on traffic. Um, I just love spending like that weekend time with them because that's literally all the time that we have and personally i feel like family is the most sacred thing that you can have i love hanging out with like all of my cousins i do want to do a better job of making sure that i'm balancing my family time between the both sides of my family i feel like that has been something that i would have been struggling with i not saying that i favor one side but it's just a lot um of us on my mom's side and i feel like there's always something going on where it's like you get fomo and as a kid i think especially when we have like mandatory like weekends with one parent and another i would get constant fomo because i feel like it definitely played a fact in the relationship when i was younger that i had with my cousins because i felt like they were always together doing things together and i was almost sometimes like missing out um i don't feel like that anymore obviously i've grown as a person and i realized like you make your own relationships certain things don't like dictate you know um and they can but i think a lot of this past year also i've just grown so so much and um i don't know i've like am working on my faith as well i 
that's another fun fact about me my grandfather is a pastor i am baptist and um if you are in dc he is a one of a he's a reverend a deacon a reverend deacon yeah i'm bad um no reverend barrett that's oh i just told y'all my last name he's a reverend at st john baptist church on 13th in washington dc if you are looking for a church um and st john has played a, part, a really big part of my life um i'm like not i'm not saying i'm goody two shoes but i really believe in like god and my faith and like everything's in god's hands and if something is meant for you like i believe that my story is written there are things that can take it off its course but i will always somehow get back to like what god's plans and intentions are for me not saying that we don't make choices as people which deceive that plan but i think it's really important like for me at least to understand that you know you have your 10 commandments um i'm not gonna say that i'm a, i'm gonna say i'm a part-time christian because i believe in god i pray to god i thank god you know we bless our food we do all of these things but not to say like i don't sin and things like like you know like you i, I feel like i'm a real honest christian is what i'm trying to say um i ask for forgiveness but at the same time like i don't know there's not that fine line between like balance and i'm not trying to excuse myself i don't know that religion is a whole different topic i feel like we can like move on but um what is your dream job i don't know how to answer this because ideally for my life i would want everybody in my family to be successful i would love to be the one to make my family successful like i would love to run a business create a business to where like my family members not i don't want to say work with me but they can like help me run my business they could um we can all break bread together is basically what i'm trying to say i would love that um because it is wicked out here let me tell you it is real wicked out here and i feel like there's nothing better than having something of your own like i feel like that about a house i feel like that about everything like i want everything for myself to be mine in my families so i think it's really important to like um invest in you and your family forward but i also think it's important to invest backwards and i think i was i was watching a tiktok about this where it's like certain communities excel um certain yeah certain communities excel because they invest forward in terms of like their finances opportunities and stuff when they make it but others um don't succeed because they invest backwards so they were saying like for example a certain person of a demographic is more successful because they invest in future projects invest in their future children whereas others um my community example being hispanic is like you want to take care of your parents like you want to um kind of go backwards which I believe you should do both. Personally, that's just my opinion. I wanna get back to my parents and I wanna take care of my brothers and siblings. Not that I feel like I have to do that, but it's something that I want to do because I am that connected to my family. But the next thing I'm using is the uh, Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Shaving Stick. Also, let me preface by saying I'm not a makeup girl. Like, I can do a little bit with my face but that's about it i'm not a makeup girly to the point where it's like oh follow my tutorial i am not that girl i am just showing you what i do i'm not gonna come on here and be like oh get this like great contour no yeah always blend this up it was funny because i was um I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so yeah, my dream job essentially though is to do everything. Like I would love to work for the WNBA. I'd love to work for the NFL. I'd love to be a stylist. I'd love to be a stay-at-home mom and just film content all the time. Um, ideally, I feel like the one opportunity that can help me do that is like being a content creator. It opens doors for a lot of content to be filmed in various industries. You could be a lifestyle 
content creator and like do collabs with like Google and you know cool things like that which is I think what I would love to do but I would also love to have my own marketing firm strictly a company not saying strictly of just women but I'd love it to be um young entrepreneurs who don't have an idea how to get started in the industry and just give them like a place to start and have the tools to where they can come and grow i feel like that is what's missing um in the marketing community because like for me finding a job out of school was very difficult um i kind of just applied to something and then was able to tweak my position to be like oh i do marketing also can i be compensated for that but on average i feel like everything is kind of a scheme like a pyramid scheme where it's like okay if you sell this much you get this much and i'm like i'm not doing that like i am not going to be selling cell phones which i feel like is the biggest thing in my area was the biggest thing in my area it's like okay you get commission off of selling a cell phone and i'm just like i'm not selling that babe sorry not me wrong girl so that's what i would love to do that's a good that was a good one that's what i would ideally really really like to do um this is the Ilya of town nightlife nightlight bronzing powder i'm gonna go in with this a little bit um i kind of already did too much um this is not the right brush but i love this brush because i just like just pack it in and if you hear somebody in the background that's my dude What's the next question? Okay, do you have a celebrity crush? Um, no. Mm, I'm gonna say no. The only reason I say that is because like, I'm with who I wanna be with right in this time. Are there people that I think are cute? Obviously, but I just feel like when you have a, cr a crush is like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like a crush is like you would act on that. I wouldn't act on anything. That's just kind of like how I look at it. Um, I'm gonna go on with my super good glow screen. I should use this honestly as a base, but I'm gonna use this as like a highlight on my face just because it is good as that. It is really good at that. So I just do it like that. Doo -doo. Um, but yeah, I don't know who, who else, like, I would say. Um, I personally think Travis Kelsey was cute when he's not a Taylor Swift fan at all, like, just not a fan. Sorry, not sorry, not a fan of Little Tay Tay. Um, never have been a fan of Little Tay Tay, so, I mean, her music is cool. But of her personally, I've never been a fan. I'm not somebody that's gonna pay that much money to go see Little Tay Tay. I just feel like, to me, she's not a girl's girl. You guys can have your own opinion. But, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I feel like she's not a girl's girl. That's all I'm gonna say about that. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? I was graduating college. I really got, I got my college diploma in the middle last week, actually. Um, and I literally said here mom this was for you it was literally for my parents I was never the girl that had like a dream college school or anything like that um, I just never really cared that much about college in terms of like oh this is my dream school this is where I have to go if I don't get in here I'm gonna cry no I was not that girl I really just cared about where can I go that's the least expensive that when I come out I can at least have a like make some money and I also knew how expensive um, it was. Like, I was never, a, like, I am, so, I, I don't like, I don't like the way I'm going to word this, but I am so money driven. Like, I know how much things cost and I'm very conscious of that and I'm very financially um, smart. And I think I get that from my parents. So I'm not the type of girl that's like, let me get in debt, let me get $100,000 in debt for a piece of paper. I was never like, bro, if I can get a marketing degree from one school that it cost me a third of a different school, I was taking them route. Okay, 
here. Oh, I like fashion you're and clothes smart. and sneakers. You're very smart. Thank you. Um, you have a bad attitude when you're hungry. <laughs> um, you like to tell me to shut up when you're in pain. I, I gotta make sure I know where I'm standing. You're good. Just stay still. I'm I know I am. Um, what else? You have a very good sense of, uh... Like finances, is that what you're gonna yeah. say? Cause I, yeah, you're I touched, very good with money. I just touched on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very fashionable, obviously. Yeah, I'm that girl. That's about it. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm also like really nice, super sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I come off, I think this is like the biggest fact that you need to know. I am very, stop, I am very approachable. What? I look unapproachable. I look unapproachable, but I can be nice. You can be, but you're not. If you get to know me. Yeah, I guess. I'm a Sag, so I come off really blunt. You're going to Golden Corral. That is it for this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. My camera's gonna die, but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to my uploads every Friday. Hopefully, if I'm organized and on schedule at 4 p.m. every Friday. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me down below on all my social media platforms. I'll see you guys.